welcome students now we will study about differential reproduction it is also regarded as similar with natural selection students we know from evolutionary perspective the ultimate goal of any species is to continue to the next generation they produce as many offspring as possible to ensure that at least some of them survive to reproduce and create next generation then individuals within the population of a species compete for food place and mating partners to make sure that it is their trait or dna that will pass on to the next generation this is natural selection or sometimes called survival of the fittest and it is the cornerstone of the theory of evolution natural selection is the process by which those individuals with characters or genes or traits better suited or adapted to the environment live long enough to reproduce many offspring thereby passing the genes for those favorable adaptations to the next generation those individuals lacking the favorable traits or having unfavorable traits are likely to die off before they can reproduce in this way their genetic recombinations or their genetic combinations or traits will be removed from the gene pool suppose there is a new variation appeared in a population maybe due to mutation or anything then nature selects its adaptive value if it is better adapted to the environment then it will continue to occur in next generation and so on if the trait if the traits that give these individuals a reproductive advantage and are also heritable that is passed from parent to offspring then there will be a differential reproduction which leads to differential contribution of genotypes to the gene pool of next generation that is a slightly higher proportion of fast rabbits or more efficient individuals in the next generation this differential reproduction or natural selection is of three types the following three types are first stabilizing selection second directional selection and the third disruptive selection now we will study we will see about the stabilizing selection it is also known as conservative or normalizing selection in this case natural selection acts over the organisms only in the absence of large scale environmental changes or changes for long periods population remain genetically constant by favoring the average or normal phenotypes and eliminating the extremely variable phenotypes the elimination may be physical death or genetical death as shown in the graph only intermediate forms only intermediate forms of a trait are favored not extreme forms that is reduces variation and population becomes more homogeneous examples are sickle cell anemia in human beings birth weight of human etc then come to directional selection it is also called progressive selection here selection favors only one extreme form of a trait individuals having that extreme form produces large number of offspring while the survival and reproductive success of other extreme form will gradually decreases it only occurs when the environment changes in certain direction in progressively in certain direction as we know that the environment changes continuously and it imposes upon the living systems to change in order to adapt to the continuously changing environment 
it is progressive selection that removes individuals from one end of the normal and are towards the other end and thus changes the average value of the characteristic in the population in a particular direction. Therefore, average moves in one direction change there are average in a one direction change after generation the gene frequency of a particular gene changes more or less in one direction over a long period the examples are disease resistant in mosquitoes industrial melanism it is another topic etc then come to the third one it is called disruptive selection here natural selection favors both the extreme forms of a trait but not to the intermediate forms hence the population breaks up into several different adaptive forms leading to formation of subpopulations this type of natural selection tends to increase the variations within a population So students, these are three types of natural selection you will study in the topic evolution. So I think if you understand the topics, it is very good, it is a satisfaction for me. And if you understand perfectly, then subscribe to the channel and click on to the bell button. Thank you.